Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and it's time for another super cool Cards of the Universe and Everything event or an event deck I should say Surf War it's a really cool event uh, everybody should be using the Great Barrier Reef it's probably the best card for this event anyhow I'm going to quickly show you my deck and then I am going to go and play an event game so the deck there is on the left uh, quickly load up the game so we can have a look at what the event is no surprise my deck is all blue so let's go into the event there we go so at the start of the game if your deck contains six cellophods which it does or cephalopods which it does your cards gain 50 power permanently repeat if your deck contains six crustaceans and then note all non-ocean cards with energy manipulative effects or lock effects cost plus 10 energy permanently and shinigami cost plus energy uh, plus 20 energy permanently poor old shinigami this three round event at uh, eight points for a win and three points for a loss so let's have a quick look at my deck as i said you should be playing the great barrier reef it's a fusion card amazing this week three for zero if you're not playing it you could be struggling against everybody that is uh, on the player, your Oceans and Sea cards in hand gain plus 30 this turn, which is nice. And your opponent's Oceans and Sea cards, wherever they are, lose minus 30 this round. And because it's a Surf War, pretty much everybody is playing all Oceans and Seas. Portuguese Man of War. Good card, this one. One for six. Energy is a little bit tight in this event. Uh, so he helps on the return. Still two energy from your opponent. The White Five Octopus. Or the white v octopus i'm guessing it's a five four for 24 on the return your opponent's remaining cards in hand lose minus 24 energy sorry power until played nice card got a few octopus in here the wonderpus octopus five for 44 on the draw for every cephalopod card in your hand this card gains plus 22 until play that's pretty useful could become a good card the colossal squid on the draw, your epic and legendary cephalopods cards, wherever they are, gain 18 permanently. And we have got one, two, three, four by the looks of it. So that will hit four of our cards. That's pretty good. Five. So there we go. Even better. Day Octopus, six for 55 on the draw. If your deck contains eight or more Oceans and Sea cards, which it does, this card gains plus 65 power until played. He is a great card this week. The Flapjap Octopus. Interesting picture, that one. Doesn't even look like an octopus, does it? 7 for 48 on the draw. Your cephalopod cards, wherever they are, gain plus 16 power and cost minus 1 energy until played. Really useful. Energy is a little bit of a concern, so I've gone with Boxer Crab. He is the first of our crustaceans. On the draw, your oceans and sea cards, wherever they are, cost minus 1 this round. Very good. The Crystal Red Shrimp, the second of our crustaceans, 747. He's a great card on the play. Your Life on Land, which we don't have any, and your Oceans of Z cards, wherever they are, gain plus 19 power this round. Really nice. The Harlequin Shrimp, I love this card and I love that picture. 7 for 60 on the play. If played in the left slot, you're around the reef cards, wherever they are, gain 24 until played. We don't have any of them, but here's the good bits. If played in the middle slot, this card gains plus 40 permanently. And if played in the right slot, your other crustacean cards in hand gain plus 40 this turn. So you've got two good options with that card. It is a great card for this week. The Magnificent Anemone Shrimp. Weird looking creature. 3 for 35 on the play. If you've won at least one around this game, your crustaceans cards, wherever they are, gain plus 22 until played. Really, really nice card. The Skeleton Shrimp. 5 for 50 on the return this card loses minus 50 until played and your other oceans and heat cards wherever they are gain plus 15 until played really nice vampire crab no surprises so far good card on the play if your deck has two or more crustacean cards which we do two of your opponent cards wherever they are lose minus 50 power until played nice card that one mac mako shark mako shark 5 for 42 I guess it is Mako or Mako. Anyhow, on the play, your opponent's Ocean Z cards in hand. Lose minus 30 this turn. He will be useful. I put in Kraken. He is a mythic, but he is great for Oceans and Seas. 
uh, on the play or Ocean Z cards in hand game plus 50 this turn. So he's basically starting at six for 200 plus the 100 boost. So six for 300. Not a bad card. Plus any other boost you can add to him. Crystal Jelly. I love this one. Eight for 82. On the draw, your Ocean Z cards, wherever they are, cost minus one until played. He will get all those buffs uh, and he will save you a whole heap of energy. So he is definitely worth considering. And then here we go, my two killer cards, Black Cayman, that alligator. On the play, your opponent's life on land and Ocean's Z cards, wherever they are, lose minus 20 power this round. Make sure, really important, you play him at the start of the round. Don't be tempted to use it to try and win a game. Make sure you get him on the right rotation. And the last card is another cool card. Hold this little fella, the Payara, or Payara, 5 for 20. On the draw, your opponent's feisty fish and fabulous fish cards, wherever they are, cost plus one until played and lose minus 10 power until this is returned to your deck. I'm not expecting any fish, but this is why I'm going to hold him. On the start, this card gains plus 20 until played. He will also get that 100 buff uh, at the start of the game, so he is going to be a super powerful card. So this deck, just to let you know, it's all about getting the rotation right. It doesn't matter if you lose the first round, but like I said, you really want to get that Black Cayman at the start of the round and also you want to get that uh kraken and also the great barrier relief together if you can hobbs hello hobbs nice to see you okay here we go let's see what you've got here hobbs for us so everybody getting that full buff good interesting start so let's see what we can do energy at the beginning is a bit of a pain uh, but certainly after round one, you will be fine on energy, which is why I tend to use round one. Uh, I normally try and not lose it on purpose, but try and get all my buffing cards round. I'm not sure about using Crystal Red Shrimp now, but I think I'm going to, just in case. 405. And sometimes it's a little bit tempting with this deck to try and win the first round. Uh, if you can, it's good, but you don't need to. It's most important to get your rotation right. So there's that barrier reef and normally i wouldn't play it normally i would hold it but i'm going to do exactly against what i said i would do barrier reef and kraken you should always play them at the big beginning but maybe we can squeeze this first round seven two nine that is a good score we are one six one behind normally i would have given up on this round and i'm not sure if we've made the right move we are a little bit in front a little bit in front but the rotation is going to be good. So if we can get to the third round, even if we lose this one, we will make sure we keep Black Cayman. That's going to be the killer. Uh, Shark is really good. Uh, we are struggling a little bit here. I haven't played this the best. I should have done what I said I was going to do and keep that Great Barrier Reef until the start of round two. Oh, and he's got Kraken as well. Nice play, Harbs. Okay, we have just ruined our rotation a little bit. It's not too bad. It's not the end of the world. I would rather have kept that Great Barrier Reef, though, really, and Kraken. We would have been storming through. But never mind. We can't always be perfect, can we, with our rotation? Sometimes you've got to go for the win. So we're 1-0 down, so we now have to win these two rounds. But I'm thinking we might be okay here. You've got a green card and a science card. So we've got an opportunity to get a few points ahead here. That's that one that buffs all your cards by 17, I think, or 19. Uh, this looks good, 650. Okay, here we go. Still going to be quite close. It's a 17 buff. Oh, in between what I said. I said 16 or 18, it was 17. Never mind. Okay, we are 110 in front. Let's see if we can extend that a little bit. There's that day octopus card. He is already massive. We've got to win this. We can now hold that nasty looking fish. And uh, he will build up nicely if we can get through this final, or not final, but this round. Two for one for 50 if you want at least one round this game. Oh, I didn't want to play that, but never mind. Five, three, two. Oh, hub as well. Oh no, low power. Oh, sorry about that. Hang on. Let's get back in. There we go. That was lucky. I always do this when I've got low power. Okay, we're one in front. Whoa, this is close. 
Uh, there's that black caiman. I'm not going to use it. So really, and I'm not going to use that nasty fish. So we've only got three cars. They're good ones. Harlequin shrimp's got to go in the middle this time. And one, two, five, nine, seven. Come on, we've got to win. Oh, that is good. I'm sorry about this, Harbs. I think now we've got Black Kamer to lead out. We should have the Great Barrier Reef coming back round. So uh, even though we went for the win on that first one, our rotation now is pretty good. We're going to do some serious damage to his cars. I do like it. And that horrible fish is a bit of a game winner. He builds up nicely. There's the deck code, by the way. RYL1E2, if you are interested. Okay. Barrier Reef and Black Cayman. That's a double whammy for him. That's going to take off 50 points of all his Ocean Sea cards for the round. Oh, and he's crying. I'm not surprised. Sorry about that, Harbs. Sorry about that. And we also get that nice buff from Crystal Shrimp. We've still got Kraken. We've still got that big fish. And oh, we got the shark. I forgot about him. Should we use him? Let's do it. I'm going to do some more damage. Uh, do you know what? Let's go with Kraken. 686. Let's get the biggest score we can. We are 34 behind. We have seriously damaged his cards. And you can see that there. We won that quite comfortably. Okay, here we go. The final round is our feisty fish. Or ugly fish, we should say, going to win us the game. 141 in front. He is looking good. He hasn't buffed up massively. Two, three, four. I've had him higher. Let's have a look. Uh, should we go with two, three, nine, six, nine, one, and the one, four, one? That is a good finish. He needs something big. Oh, he's going to get close. He is going to get close, but not close enough. Wow, 71. Well played, Harbs. That is a nice deck, but I do like this deck. And Black Cayman, if he can get that rotation right with Black Cayman, he is a match winner. And the whole card is really good for this event. I do like it. Anyhow, that is my event deck, RYL1E2. Oh, we're up to 232 points already. Wow, let's go and collect our... There should be, yet. Yeah, there's the reward. Wow, goal reached, 225. We're almost maxed out. Okay, let's do this one by one. 50 gems. 15,000 coins. I think you get one limited, one rare, one epic, and a legendary, don't you? Let's hope we get a nice legendary. Yeah, it looks like it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, M4 Sherman. One of the worst. Oh, well, never mind. Anyhow, guys, that is my event deck. Hope you like it. Everybody is playing similar decks this week. No surprise. Uh, but I've done quite well with this one, so... There you go. Have fun, take care, and we'll see you all very soon. Bye.